Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting. Now, the Page of Wands and the Page of Pentacles just came out. The pages, this is, again, me talking about the creativity here. So you or someone connected to you at this time is most likely becoming very passionate about starting something new. Something is in its very early stages, and that's a good thing. The Page of Pentacles speaks of there being a solid new beginning or offer to, um, offer or an opportunity. Some of you could um, be deciding now to try something new in your life, going after something in your career, starting a business, going after a relationship, whatever it is. If you if you really put your your time effort and energy into it is going to pan out for you yeah because you have the three of pentacles here and the nine of pentacles somebody here could definitely be getting like a, a job offer that's going to really really change a lot for you what's coming in here yeah you're getting some type of sacred knowledge or information there is a spiritual awakening that's coming in as well with this high priestess of three of wands and the tower so someone here is about to really learn the truth about a situation or about themselves or a person around them, whatever the case may be about a job, there's some type of information that's going to come in that's going to allow you to really, really um, switch gears and move in a totally different direction. And it's you going into this sun energy. The queen of wands is here and the sun, you could have Leo heavily aspected in your chart. Or Leo season could be of great significance to you. This right now is you definitely having that sun energy, though, that Midas touch like energy, the sun here. Yeah. For those of you who have been dealing with situations with like this King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands energy that I'm picking up here, I see the Seven of Cups. If there's been like a karmic couple um, in your energy that's been causing illusions or confusion, you now have an opportunity to really put your foot down and to kick something in gear with the chariot and the eight of cups. Some of you too, there is some type of information that's going to come out about a person, a group, or a couple that has been doing things to you in the background. Like I said, the high priestess is here with the three of wands. There's some kind of secret information that's going to come in um, or be exposed and it's going to cause a tower. I do feel that whatever this is though, it's about to come to, um, to an end. For somebody here, there could actually be some type of jail time for a person. And this is going to give you an opportunity to finally have a, a clean break. You're going to have more mental clarity. So whom, whoever has been in your energy, and this King of Pentacles and Queen of Wands is here, an earth sign masculine possibly and a fire sign feminine doesn't have to be. Keep in mind, the signs and gender can always be different. But whoever these people are for some of you that have been causing, like I said, these delays and these illusions, the queen of swords, I feel like you're calling judgment on this situation because you're choosing happiness, you're choosing peace, or this is what you need to choose. By doing this, you're moving away from whatever this situation is, but I do feel that for some of you, what is going to come out and be exposed, of course, this may not be everyone's situation. Someone here could have an issue with the law. I feel like someone has done something unlawful or illegal towards you in an effort to stop you or to block you at some point. Um, you don't really have to focus on this anymore because this situation is somehow going to work itself out. Divine intervention is here. Yeah. But this is going to give you a lot of peace. You see here the Ace of Swords here, the Page of Cups, the Nine of Cups. Oh, and then the Death card. Wow. And then the Two of Cups. Yeah. There is something here that's been happening in the shadows. For some of you, you have um, a person that is trying to enter your life or... This could be, you know, someone that you want to do business with, or there could be a romantic relationship here. Unfortunately, you've had people who have been playing in your energy, trying to stop or block you in some way, definitely causing a lot of delays, um, trying to cause you to have an ending before you get to some type of partnership here. Again, this could be uh, business. It could be um, romantic. It could be both. But there is about to be a clean break here with this divine intervention that's happening with the tower here. You're going to receive an offer and it's definitely going to be wish fulfillment. The fact that all of these pages are out here, though, it definitely tells me that this is something that's new or it's something that's in its beginning stages. All right. It's something that you're going to take action towards. Um, it's going to bring you stability and it's going to kind of make your heart sing. Um, something here is very innocent it's it's new it's pure um and this is going to help you some of you have a person that's coming in your life they're going to really um help you with becoming more stable and secure within yourselves it's going to be a confidence boost here 
Okay, because for some of you, what unfortunately has been happening is you have some good people around you, but you have people in the background that has been causing so much fear and paranoia that it has still perhaps kept you in a state of fear. And it's because of these illusions that's being sent. This could be like a witch, a, a, a warlock or someone. This is going to be exposed here. So your questions and your concerns, your doubts and your fears are going to come to an end once these people or this group that has been working against you in the dark, once um, justice is, is served, once judgment is called on these individuals, justice has to be served because someone has been in the background lingering in the shadows trying very hard to make you experience heartbreak or interference in your life. Yeah, but you have someone rushing in who wants to celebrate with you but again you have someone that's also rushing in because they want your security and your stability to come to an end so you need to be careful but the thing about it is like with this knight of wands there's another knight here just as quickly as someone is coming in to try and sabotage you you constantly have protectors who are coming in to protect and to defend you, to ensure that you do have security and stability. Ace of Wands is a passion, new beginning coming here. And some of you, you have a romantic offer from someone that um, may have known you, maybe even in a past life or from your past. Not someone that you have, um, not the person that caused a rude awakening for you. It's a difference in someone being in your life who causes a rude awakening and someone who comes into your life and they allow you to spiritually awaken. It's a difference. I'm not talking about someone toxic who has put you through pure hell. No, you have a person that wants to come in and they want to ensure that you're able to move on to peaceful, calmer waters or you are serving as this person in someone's life. You're going to be able to teach someone how to have peace in their life after there's been a great deal of destruction. All right, the Ten of Swords is here with the Justice. So, yeah, there is justice being called on a situation. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. The devil is here. But this is just someone who is in a very low vibrational, toxic type of energy. All right? Someone who, who could already be bound in a karmic situation that they can't get out of that's constantly trying to attack you. This could be someone that you had an unhealthy soul tie or connection with in the past that does not want to let go. But this is someone for sure is from your past and they've been constantly um, like waging war on you. All right. With this ten of swords here, someone has been in the background constantly trying to look, compete with you and, and ensure that you have this disappointment, this grief, this regret in your life. But you're going to be able to persevere and still move on to having victory and success. But you're going to have to work very hard on your being able to control your mind because someone wants to control your mind. Someone who is stressed out, obsessed, and very much fearful of losing access perhaps to an empress, a divine feminine. Wow. Whoa. It's doing a lot in the background. This is going to be cleansed and cleared out of your energy, though. You have the empress here, the lovers, and the temperance. Strength. There's a bond here between two people. It cannot be broken. It cannot be delayed. It cannot be swayed. It has already been judged by the most high and it is destined to come in to fruition as two people are coming into alignment. Something here is extremely protected. And I feel like it's either something that you are moving towards right now that you're or that you've already manifested. Or it's something that's about to come into your life. Now, I'm not saying that you can never deal with a person from your past. But if you're dealing with someone from the past, again, it's to be, it should be someone that you know has helped you to get become more self-aware by leading you closer to God. That's the way I see it. Not a person that has, like I said, put you through pure hell. That's, that's not what you should be going towards. But here you have the magician and the hangman. Someone has for sure gone through an awakening. OK, they've gone through an awakening and I feel like someone wants to come into your life and they want to invest in you. They want to have wish fulfillment with you. Some of you, there is a very, very beautiful connection that's about to enter your life. No doubt about it. 
the temperance and the lovers, the emperors, divine feminine, you either you've met your match or you are soon about to. And whoever this person is that has been in the background constantly rushing in, there's two masculines that's possibly in your energy. One who has your best interest at heart and one who wants to sabotage anything good that comes towards you. This has to end. You have someone that is very stressed out and upset about the fact that they can no longer um, cause all of this, like I said, disappointment and regret. And this person has done a lot in the background to try and work against you, especially when it comes to matters of the heart and you being able to go out, date, celebrate, meet good people. You probably had conflict within your friendships, your family, your relationships, people that you work with. It's all because of this person that's been in the background. And uh, unfortunately, this person, again, they could actually be married or in a committed relationship with someone else. And they both could be spiritually attacking you. The good thing, though, is that, like I said, this is coming to an end. Yeah, look at that, the Hierophant. Somebody is coming to the, the realization they're rushing in towards you. It's not, it's not helping them. This person will not be victorious or successful in coming between whatever this purpose that you have as this earth angel divine being or whatever type of contract you have possibly with another person. There's two different sets of angel wings out here with this divine feminine. You you could be someone like, and I've had readings like this, you have a double mission, okay? You have a mission as perhaps like a twin flame, and you also have your mission as an actual divine being a light worker. And both of those missions that you have are very, very important to you and to God. So whoever is trying to come against either one of them, they have to now face judgment. Karmic justice must be served in this situation because although you have separate missions, they, they are connected. You know, if God has chosen you to create a business or to co, um, you know, have a, a, a child or be married or whatever, if this is part, wh whatever your life story is, someone is trying to take a piece of it from you. You're at a, a place in your, your journey now where you have to have all of your energy to be able to manifest everything that God wants you to manifest at this time. So these people who are in your in the background in your energy trying to work against you, they have to go. This also, for some of you, if it's not a karmic couple, this could be a divine feminine who's being attacked by a masculine. And then there's a, a divine masculine who is being attacked by a karmic feminine. This king of pentacles and this queen of wands is representative of a karmic energy that Either this is two different people, like I said, a couple attacking one person or one divine couple, or this is um, the karmic energies of two separate people who are both attacking a divine feminine and a divine masculine, trying to keep those two individuals from coming together or taking their relationship to the next level if they've already met. Please keep in mind throughout the reading, everyone is at different times, spaces, places in their journey. You could have already met your counterpart. This also could be, this is energy. This could be a prediction of someone that you have not met yet, but this is the energy that you and this person could possibly be in at this time. And they may just be telling you what's going on behind the scenes. Because here, the high priestess, you are able to see behind the veil. I'm able to see behind the veil. I'm telling you what's happening behind the veil. What is predicted, what, what may be coming and what's coming is someone is going to for sure experience a fall from grace from being very foolish in their pursuits to try and stop you. Someone, yeah, there's going to be tower. Someone has to be judged at this time because someone thought that they were going to be the Messiah, that they were going to play God in your life. This could be um, a, a master magician. This could be someone who, you know, is extremely religious, but they are trying to use religion and, and different doctrines to work against you this could be a master occultist whomever it is this is someone who for sure has to be judged this is someone that you also could have had a partnership with okay the high priestess and the hierophant are out here for some of you this is someone in the workplace you the two of you could both be into spiritual work one of you could be um doing things for good the other one for evil however it resonates for you but i do feel that there is a masculine out here that is becoming awakened to the fact that your control over your mind is not allowing the illusion magic that they're or confusion that they're sending you to work someone here knows for a sure fact that whatever they've been doing against you is not working that the cycle is closed because you do have this energy of a high priestess you are very strong 
talented and gifted high priestess at that. So whatever they're doing, it's not working. And you need to, if you haven't already, you need to call for justice to be served in this situation because you do have that right to call on divine judgment. Yeah. Against this King of Pentacles who keeps rushing into your life, trying to stop and block you from moving on into a partnership. And here's the King of Wands with the Magician. I feel like this King of Wands is someone that you're manifesting. Or they've already been manifested. They're looking at this Magician. You, like I said, you have more than one person in your energy. King of Wands out here with the Moon and then the King of Swords. We have the King of Wands and the King of Swords before. And I was telling you, yes, you have two people who are rushing in trying to be in your energy, but there's only one person and you're going to know by who had, who is the most balanced and who brings you the most peace. But clarity is where your power is. Knowledge is power, but clarity is also because when you have clarity and peace of mind, it is easier for you to see the truth behind these illusions. And it's easier for you to tap into your intuition and actually hear God speaking to you about who is watching you and in your energy for all of the wrong reasons. I feel like for some of you, like your spiritual team, they're finding new ways to communicate with you. Because obviously they're aware of all of the different attacks that you've been suffering from, from these different people. But someone definitely is constantly sending a lot of chaos, conflict, and illusion magic towards you. And it's all because of a relationship. It's a it's a new contract that you have. Whatever is part of your life purpose, it for for many of you, not everyone, but for a lot of you, it does um, involve another person. And by you allowing this other person into your energy, it's kicking some some other person or group completely out of your energy. And that's causing a problem for these people because they've been living in your energy. They've been hiding in your energy and stealing from you. Yep, Page of Pentacles. Someone here is holding on to an energy, a very um, immature, greedy type of energy. Someone does not want to let this energy go at all. And you see how before we had three pages and now we have another three pages. This is a totally different day. You have your energy. You're reclaiming your own energy, your pentacles. Someone wants to hold on to whatever they've taken from you or had access to for dear life. For some of you, this is someone who... Is using your energy or they're using the energy of some type of entity or something to be able to get a close look at you, to watch you and to monitor you. They're losing access. They can no longer do this. And someone definitely, if this is a masculine, they have the help of this karmic energy. They have the help. Of, this could be a fire sign that doesn't have to, but they have the help of someone to do this. Somebody is definitely using sex magic. I'll be honest. I am seeing that for sure. But like th this person and whoever is doing this, like they, they've gotten so greedy, just careless with this. This is the reason why this person is going to fall from grace. Yeah, look, yeah, they they can't run from this because they've been caught. Oh, my God. Oh, whoa. Look at that. I can't make it up. The death card. The devil has been caught. The death card. Your divine protectors, they're not allowing this to happen. Whoa, double emperor. Yikes. You have double death, double emperor. It's like whatever it takes for you to be free. This person has to get out of your energy. This is someone who feels like you belong to them. They feel like you're their empress and you belong to them and they're willing to do whatever. But they also have a karmic feminine in their energy that wants to stop and block this person. This king of pentacles, king of cups person is the same person. This is someone who has heavy um, water and earth in their chart. I'm getting mainly um, Taurus, Capricorn, and Scorpio in their chart and then you have this karmic feminine out here that could possibly be in a relationship with this person someone though this person sees you as their counterpart or 
they really don't see you as their counterpart. They just see you as embodying the energy of divine feminine and they want that divine feminine energy. But this person now must face a, a major ending because they work with the devil to bring an ending towards you. And you have these masculine energies that are in around now protecting you. You have like a a high ranking ancestor, a spirit guide, an angel, or someone protecting you, as well as an actual divine masculine energy here that wants to come in and make you an offer. Here's the hermit out here twice, and then the star. So I, I don't know what this is, but you have the double hermit, you have double emperor, and then you have the death card out here twice. So Virgo, Scorpio, Aries energy could be significant, okay? But somebody here is caught. We know that. And then death, whoever this is, they cannot get out of this ending. They've been caught. Somebody has been caught red handed doing something to you. And it has something to do with some kind of um, like illegal surveillance. Someone has been watching you, monitoring you. Like I said, these these different people who are um, tapping into all of this black magic and they're using these different spirits and entities to astral travel and project and do all of this remote viewing to stay around you and to monitor what's happening in your energetic field, in your life, in your home, because they see that you are the star. This has to come to a screeching halt. Yeah, the page, look at this, the page of cups, the page of swords. Someone keeps making offers to some type of entity to watch you, to monitor you and to spy on you. And this is all coming back. Why? Because you're an earth angel. So you're transmuting this energy. You're a true alchemist. And, and this is destroying whatever plans these different people have for you. This cup is yours. Someone is trying to steal a, a spiritual gift of yours. And you're not even in the same. You're not in the matrix with these people. Like you're, you're so far out of reach, but yet they keep doing the same thing. Like this just doesn't work on you. It feels like your angels, your guys, like they literally taking you to a totally different timeline or dimension so that these attacks can't happen. Or you have these different beings who have come from other dimensions and timelines and they're here. They're providing this safety and protection. And I think that before I said something about you receiving messages different ways, for some of you, these people who are spiritually attacking you, what they've tried to do is they've tried to infiltrate your protection somehow. So maybe they've tried to stop the guides and the ancestors that you have from protecting you. They've made some type of offer to remove your protection. And all it has done is triggered these protectors from, from different planes, timelines, and dimensions to come in to protect you. There's always someone standing in the gap for you. And that's what these people now look, they're, they're still trying to get a closer look as to how, how is this happening? Why do they not have your offer in their hand? It's not going to work. These people are using various entities and stuff like that to do this, and it's not working. You're still in this Empress energy, and you still have an offer coming from someone. Even if there has been some kind of delay, this person is still going to make their way to you. Someone here has for sure done something to try to turn like your some type of like they, they wanted some. I'm hearing loss in translation. But somebody wanted to make sure that an offer, whether this was in finances or in love, that it didn't reach you. And it's actually coming towards you and it's going to be better than what was expected to begin with. Because God has not allowed these people to truly see the good karma that you have coming towards you. So they were attacking you for something that they they didn't even really know. What they were attacking you in hopes to gain was an illusion. I hope that makes sense. Because for a lot of you, you're like, and this has been coming out a lot. Uh, for a lot of you, you have a person that feels like they are your counterpart or they are deserving of your divine contract and they're not. Your actual person who has been delayed from coming into your life, the hangman is in the reverse. They're not delayed from coming. Somebody here has done something to you to make sure that they like they're completely removed from your life and this is the reason why you have all of this protection someone here has now like they're completely out of your contract they can never re-enter your life they can't get any access to you at all 
your energy has been cleansed and purified of this and this person who calls this tower they wish that they could reverse and change it but they can't because you've already done the shadow work and the healing you're you're on to something new now the page of wands the chariot justice and the fool you're on to something new not only are you on to something new you have a new contract with someone brand new that's coming into your life who's going to love you and they're going to allow you to keep your pentacle to yourself the person that's coming in your life to actually love you they don't need anything they don't want anything from you not energetically anyway the person that's coming they're going to be able to pour into you that could look that could look many different ways Okay, you could have a person that's coming into your life. They're going to make things easier for you financially. You could have someone that comes into your life and they emotionally, energetically, spiritually, they're going to be able to pour into you and allow you to be in an energy where you can truly manifest as this queen of wands in the upright. And so every time these people try to play these games with you, mind control, domination spells or whatever, Archangel Michael is there protecting you. Archangel, whoever this person is that's coming in, making many of you an offer, this person works very closely with Archangel Michael. This I've been saying this for weeks, maybe even months. Somebody here is a spiritual judge. I just did a reading yesterday where I was saying a lot of people don't realize that they literally are walking and talking to these true like angelic beings or these galactic beings or, or whatever you may want to refer to these t different people as. And so you have individuals who will constantly attack you or attack people who are placed in your life by God himself, not understanding that they are creating the worst karma for themselves. This King of Swords sun energy, this is someone who is, is very, very much favored by God and protected by God's angels. So if this person is actually perhaps like the counterpart counterpart to a divine feminine, if you have a karmic masculine in your energy, this this they're gonna be annihilated by this person. These like demonic energies that keep trying to hold you hostage, that they're they're being faced now with the power of the most high, and they're no match. They're no match for it. So some of you, again, too, going back to what I was saying at the beginning of the reading, when it comes to um, relationships, know who and what you are separating yourself from. Also, for those of you who, who have not met your person, know that what you're going through, they could be going through the same thing. OK, so just keep that in mind as you are praying for your new beginnings. Make sure that you're saying a prayer for the person that you're connecting with. But things are being balanced out. Libra season could be very significant for some of you. You do have a person that wants to come in and offer you love. Wow. The Ten of Cups. The Hermit. Somebody is going within right now trying to heal. And this is a divine masculine energy. This person could be juggling right now. But they're trying to get out of a situation Someone could have been feeling defeated, but they're trying to get closer to God at this time so that they can come towards you with an offer. A lot of you, this is someone that you don't, you may not have met physically just yet. Or if you do know this person, they have not made all of their plans and intentions for you clear. But spiritually, they are, um, they're aligned with you. They're a vibrational match for you. But just be mindful because, look, the devil and the three of swords. Be careful with allowing heartbreak, okay, betrayal and the suffering and the chaos and the conflict and the illusions from these demonic, low vibrational people in your life or from your past to control your mind at this time. Venus being in, in retrograde and all of that, like I said, it's going to be very easy for you to start thinking that, oh, you're never going to have love or whatever the case may be, and you may start thinking that oh maybe you should deal with a person from your past or deal with someone who you know has not shown and proven to you that they are worthy of your attention and your energy that is what the enemy wants you to do it's play there's a lot of mind games and illusions being used right now to trap divine beings so that you don't get fully into these new contracts but i'm hearing something right now it's almost um 
fail proof. You saw we had that double hermit, double emperor, double death card. It's like anybody that comes against you after you've done all of this healing, shadow work, and you've learned all these different things, and now you have all these different divine beings and helpers around you, anyone that comes against you right now, like they're going to really, really experience the true wrath of God. I'm, I'm telling you, it's not a joke anymore. It, it never was, but some of you, whatever your divine path and purpose or the, the just the plan that God has for your life is so, so important. So these demons who were once friends, family, and lovers who keep trying to get in the way of you being able to grow and expand, it's just not, it's not going to end well. Some of you could be trying to expand. You could be considering relocating. Okay. It's just a lot of new things that are coming in for you. The three of swords and the page of wands. Yeah. This three of swords type of energy, you're about to receive some type of good news that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. You being just satisfied with where you are in life, where you're going, having abundance, having blessings that are just going to over, overflow. But Ace of Swords, yeah, that's the truth. Queen of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Five of Wands. Somebody is just constantly, constantly trying to play in your energy because they want you to juggle. This is someone completely obsessed with you. And someone, I'm telling you, I don't know, if this, for some of you, it's a feminine energy. For some, it's a masculine energy. Um, take it however it resonates. But somebody hates the fact that you truly are who, who they said you are. Because it's not about who you say you are. You know how people like to gossip that, that, you know, you hear people say she thinks or he thinks that they're this or that. This person is upset because you are exactly who they think that you are. <laughs> and someone is, is, is literally addicted and obsessed with competing with you and trying to cause this chaos and, and conflict in your life. This queen of wands here is someone who is very much invested Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Look at this. The Magician. You have a Queen of Wands out here. And this could be any sign, but whoever this karmic, like, uh, feminine is, this person is very much invested in constantly creating these lies and, like, trying to just, like, stab you in the back. And they're hoping that some of the work that they're doing, especially if they're using black magic, they're hoping that at some point, something here is going to manifest and cause an ending for you they they just want you in disappointment four of cups five of cups they want you in agony and pain and deep regret and just like they want you to experience breakups and heartache and pain this is what this person just hopes for your life but i just want you to see these cards because a bunch of cards flipped over you see here is the empress the star and the four of wands is it the two, the two of cups the three of pentacles you have teamwork and collaborations partnerships love your life is about to change in a way where you're not going to have any burdens and that's a part of your justice no more of this ongoing battle of having burdens in your life and somebody is just like they can't get over it. and then the cards that were turned over was the queen of pentacles and the tower this queen of pentacles and this queen of wands this could be a mother daughter do all this doing this against you constantly attacking you Take it however it resonates. I'm, these are different stories. And again, take what part resonates with you. For some of you, there's a masculine out here who has been connected to a queen of pentacles and queen of wands. This mother-daughter duo, they don't want this masculine to move on because they know that this masculine is some type of earth angel that wants to move forward and go towards the ten of cups with a divine feminine. They're upset with this and they're very mad and trying to block this person from moving forward. That's what I'm saying. For some of you, you may not have connected with this masculine yet, but what they're going through in the background is them trying to get away from, wow, I can, I know what I'll be talking about. This mother-daughter duo here, Five of Pentacles and the Emperor, there's a masculine out here who is really trying to start over because they run into like these devils in a dress, this Queen of Wands and Queen of Pentacles. These are, are, are women, most likely, who do a lot of heavy magic. When they don't get what they want, this Jezebel-like energy, they like to compete. They don't get what they want, 
They cause a tower in your life. They cause you to juggle. They cause you to lose financial abundance. They've done this to this emperor. And they are constantly doing it because this emperor most likely is someone who is standing up for themselves, trying to balance their life out. And they're, they're, they, this emperor is probably someone who wants to go towards someone where there is kindness. There's a past life connection here. The empress and the star. Somebody just cannot believe that a person wants to go towards this divine feminine. You know what this is really reminding me of? This is a situation where, and you see it happen all the time. This is like someone is in a relationship. I'm just going to explain it how I see it. I'm seeing a situation with the divine masculine and I'm seeing a situation with the divine feminine. What I'm seeing for divine masculine, keep in mind, this could be male or female. I'm seeing a divine masculine who has sort of been, I'm going to say blackmail and blackball by um, this queen of wands, queen of pentacles person. This could be for sure like a mother-in-law, um, mother, daughter, whatever type situation. This masculine, whether they did something wrong or they were completely innocent, they have become... an enemy to those who once loved them because they've removed themselves from a situation. It feels like this masculine is choosing to be in the upright and because they don't want to support this queen of wands, queen of pentacles in any of their mess. These individuals have now teamed up on this masculine to cause a lot of heavy, heavy burdens and instability in their life. So this could be a, a, a man who has either broken up with or possibly even divorced or left a feminine because they were using this divine masculine energy. Perhaps they now are using magic to spiritually attack this man, especially his finances and overall well-being. The other story that I'm seeing here is for divine feminine, divine feminine who either has connected with this masculine or will connect with a masculine with a, a similar story in the future. There's a divine feminine out here who is standing up for their rights, um, standing their ground for their own life purpose as this earth angel, this high priestess or whatever. And because you are going into a season where you are destined to most likely have a divine union that's going to bring a lot of happiness and stability there is a karmic masculine in the background who wants you to be in a third party situation with them and a queen of wands this queen of wands represents this jezebel energy if you're a fire sign i don't have a problem with you unless you know i'm talking about the the energy okay nothing against fire signs but you have a karmic masculine out here that is constantly attacking this divine feminine who is going into the ultimate wish fulfillment where they will be happy. You have the nine of cups out here and the ten of cups, the two of cups, the queen of cups. There's a divine feminine out here who is about to be madly in love. And you have to think when you're talking about a queen of cups, a divine feminine, a high priestess, love is what's going to help you step even more into your light. So somebody here is truly an earth angel, a light being. And with this amount of love, it's, it's helping them to grow into a sin more. So you have um, a karmic masculine who could possibly be married or whatever that's in the background trying to sabotage this divine feminine in hopes that they will be in the three of swords because they don't want them to ascend. The more you ascend, the more these um, lower energies are, are purged out of your energetic field. And these people are being permanently removed because you do have just as you've been suffering for a long time when it comes to matters of the heart. There's been this ongoing battle nonstop of you being at a crossroads in this mental imprisonment. And now you're finally able to walk away. Eight of Cups, Page of Cups. There's a new offer coming here. Someone is watching you or you have your eye on someone, but you definitely have your enemies watching you because they know that the strength of the person that's coming towards you, that's willing to take a risk on you, willing to bet it all on you, there's nothing that anybody can do to stop it or block it. Judgment is here, and the final judgment is that you will have equal give and take. You will have love. You will have the, the reciprocal relationship that you're supposed to have. 
and you're going to have this from someone who is very masculine a very powerful logical type of person who can make head over heart decisions someone who is disciplined they're structured not someone that is using magic to manifest but someone who wants to do things by the book a righteous and noble person so you have a lot of people who are just hating the fact that divine feminine is truly love and light so you have like this queen of wands queen of pentacles who can be karmic energies with it in a divine masculine side they hate the fact that this divine feminine is truly a divine feminine and then you have a divine feminine who is going to connect with the divine masculine the karmic masculine that's in this divine feminist past hates the fact that divine feminine has actually discovered the energy of a true divine being. So everyone right now is just extremely upset about the fact that you're coming into an awakening, um, an alignment where the illusions, the confusion and the magic is just no longer working. Everyone is very upset about this because this was where all of their control was coming from. They were able to control the narrative of, of your life story for a long time by creating illusions and cloaking themselves, hiding, hiding you from yourself, really. This is all changing. Yeah, you're very close to achieving your goals, see? A time to give rather than take. This new moon in Virgo, which we'll have in about six weeks. Emotions are running high. And at this time, this is not the time for you to, um, you need to be discerning. There are certain people that you absolutely need to be withholding energy from. But if you have good people in your life, this is a time for you to give rather than just take. Don't be afraid to pay something for it. Don't be afraid to meet new people. Don't be afraid to be kind to a person that's being kind to you. These people want you to hold back all of your good energy because they don't want you to put good energy out into the universe. I hope that you are, are, are following what I'm saying as long as these people can manipulate you and create all of these illusions and make you so fearful and paranoid of all people, it's going to stop you from planting good seeds. Some of you, you're naturally going to want to give and help individuals. If you are so afraid that you're going to be backstabbed and portrayed, you're not giving. You know how people say in order to make money, you have to offer something. You have to give if you want to receive these illusions and this fear is going to stop a lot of really good people from putting anything out if you really want to start making money start spending money and having the mindset that it's going to come back if you really want love spread love if you really want more light in your life put some light out there so you're going to have to do the counter intuitive these people want you to live as they live but spirit is saying no look at the bigger picture here wow Two cards of Sagittarius. This is Earth Angel energy. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. And bring love into this situation. Why? Because a new start is coming. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo, which is coming up. And then two cards of Libra is here. I have two Libra cards here. Two Sagittarius cards here. Okay. For some of you, Libra season is going to be significant, but karmic justice is definitely here. Sagittarius energy, this is all about the shamans, the, the alchemists, those who are transmuting earth angel energy. Emotions are running high. Right now, your emotions, there are certain things that you need to pull away from, but there are certain things you need to really be pouring into, especially yourself, because a new star is coming. Love is going to be the way, and you having confidence, hold your vision. Step out of your comfort zone and into your north node. What is your life purpose right now? Because it's time for you to release all of the negativity. Look at the bigger picture. Luck is on your side. Yeah, and there's definitely, definitely luck on your side when it comes to your romantic life.